Welcome back and good morning to you. It's 515 your Wednesday starting off chilly again, but we've added some winds into the mix. It is quite gusty out there. You might hear some of those trees uh, moving around out there early this morning. Temperature wise, take a look at this 48 in Hammond to 47 in Slidell. Not terribly cold, but when you do factor in the wind, it does feel a bit chillier than the temperatures there on the screen. Live view though, looking great. You don't have any rain to worry about or any fog or anything like that for the morning drive. So weather's not going to be a major factor. Just 10 and 2. The winds kicking there on any of our elevated surfaces and our bridges. Now today we're not going to warm up a lot. We're going to stay in the 50s all day long and even around lunchtime. It's still in the low to mid 50s. I have us up to around 56 or 57 degrees this afternoon. That's it. And with sunshine should be nice. Also the winds they're going to start to die off. So while it's windy this morning, it will not be as windy this afternoon. And then tonight it is mostly calm clear and that is a recipe for this right here. Colder temperatures. We wake up tomorrow morning with a light frost and even light freeze for parts of the North Shore. Now it looks like the most likely area to see an actual 32 degrees or lower is going to be around Bogalusa, Varnado, Angie. So that part of Washington Parish and maybe up towards Poplarville and Pearl River County. Now in the metro, no freeze and probably no frost either on the East Bank. We'll be in the mid 40s, but as you get closer to Bell Chase, the West Bank in the Bell Chase, there is a chance of some patchy frost and then also some patchy frost wrapping around towards Lafouche and Terrebonne and also including St. James Parish. So that's what tomorrow morning holds for the area. So what am I doing if I live north or west of the lake? Well, I am going to protect my plants tonight just to be safe, especially any of those tropical plants that just can't handle any cold temperatures. Also checking in on people and making sure my pets have somewhere warm to be in South Shore. Not really worried about plants, especially on the East Bank, but people and pets checking in on those temperatures will be plenty chilly for our standards down here in our area. Now the bigger story towards the end of the week, rain chances. We're going to warm up Friday. We're going to warm up Saturday and that's going to come with a chance for some showers and maybe a thunderstorm Friday. Not much at all. 20% chance and honestly that may be generous there with the chances of rain Saturday. A different story. Here comes the storm system. Severe weather threat is going to be to our northwest here in the early part of Saturday. But as we get into the Saturday late late afternoon into the evening, some thunderstorms are possible and then some thunderstorms are possible into Saturday night as the cold front arrives. Now this cold front is going to move in and get out of here quickly. So that means the rain threat and uh, really the flooding threat is going to be mitigated because it's moving. The one we had this weekend, it wasn't moving. We had rounds and rounds and rounds of rain, so not expecting that with this, but still could see a bout of heavy rain at a time once the rain moves through. And then notice we go from 78 on Saturday to a high of only 57 on Sunday, and then much of next week is looking a lot cooler. Heads up for our boaters. Small craft advisory still in effect this morning, but the winds will calm this afternoon, and that sets us up for great boating weather for your Thursday and Friday. It's 5.05.